In this video, I'll show you how you can create stunning AI mock-ups using Canva to showcase your digital products and your print-on-demand products. I'll show you step-by-step -step how I use the prompts to create and edit these mock-ups and stay till the end and I'll show you a simple trick to really make your mock-ups stand out. I'll also tell you how you can get your hands on the mock-ups that we create today as well as the prompts for free. So hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss a thing and let's get into it. So my homepage in Canva has changed quite a lot with the new things that they're introducing and it may have done for you as well. The Dream Lab where we create the AI images used to be down here for me. Now I get Canva AI and when I click that I now get a box here where I can put my prompt in. So I created a prompt and I dropped that in, a flat lay image of a lady's white plain sweatshirt without any detail showing a view of the front of the sweatshirt. The front of the sweatshirt is smooth without creases. It's not taking any notice of that, but we can get rid of those shortly. And the sweatshirt is on top of a pair of folded ladies blue jeans. So here's what it's created for me and we can do something with these so if i click on the image that i want and use canva editor i can go straight into that to edit first of all i just want to make it so that it fits the canvas like so and we want to have full view of for me i will be putting images on this it's not the sweatshirt i'm selling it's the image so i want a good view of where my image is going to go so click on it, click the edit, magic eraser. And now I'm just going to smooth out, iron out these creases in this sweatshirt. Click the erase button and that's smoothed it out. I'm also going to remove the V around the top of the sweatshirt here. I think that's drawing attention that we don't need. We can also click the edit button and go to adjust and brightness here. Make it perhaps just a little bit brighter. I'm going to also just see if I can just brighten this up here, removing those shadows. So I think that's done a good job now and that would be ready to put a design on. So if I go to my uploads and I can put something like this design. Onto that mock up. So I think that was fairly simple and fairly effective to do. The next prompt that I put in, a front view of a man in a medium grey t-shirt. I put medium grey because I didn't want the grey to be too light and I didn't want it to be too dark. Stood in a room. So I wanted the image to be lifestyle-y. If you're doing an image that's say related to golf or camping or sports, then put that detail in there. So you might put on a running track, in a swimming pool, by a river on a golf course, whatever suits the niche of the image or the product that you're trying to sell. So I wanted, as I say, a lifestyle image, so I put stood in a room. The main focus is the front view of the plain, smooth t-shirt, and I want the photo to be realistic. So again, it provided me these, and I thought that that one was quite a good one. So again, I click on it, use Canva Editor. So again, we can make the image more about the product that we're selling rather than the t-shirt can still see that it's a room there and I think that's quite a relatable image it's neutral in colour and yeah that's suitable so again we edit click on the edit button here go again to the magic eraser here click on that and we want to remove any creases from here tap the erase button you might have to do it a couple of times and there we go ready to put our image on so again put our image on the mock-up maybe just hit the opacity down a bit make it a little bit more realistic 
and that one again is ready to go. And whilst I don't particularly think that that mock-up is 100% right for the country faith fishing niche, I wanted to make the mock-ups as appealing to as many as possible because I'm going to leave the link to what we create today and the prompts for free below this video. So you can go grab them. The next one that I did was a flat lay of a plain white notebook without any detail on a desk with a cup of coffee and a pen. View from above, make sure we can see the plain cover clearly, high resolution photo. And here's what it created. So I think again, we'll click on this one, use the Canva editor, and then I could put an image on something like this and I could make that look smaller there like that make that put that there like that or here's a trick that I would probably do is duplicate this image and then I would trim it just move it there for a second I'll put my image on first make it central in the book to where it to go where it would go crop this down so it lines up and there it looks like the image is underneath the elastic strap if we click on position you can see layers here and if we click layers you can see all the layers from on that canvas so we've got the elastic strap that we just cropped we've got the image of the dachshund we've got the photo we've created and that's the background and then again that's ready to download another one that I created I used the same prompt as the white sweatshirt I just changed out the color of cream so again the same thing I like this one click on it use Canva editor and I'll show you again a similar trick to the elastic strap on that book so that we can make the picture look more realistic when the product that we're showing off may overlap I'll show you what I mean so first I'm going to make this mock-up so that we can see the product that we're showing off, i.e. the digital image. Click on it, edit, again to the magic eraser. Let's iron it out. And again, remove that triangle from the neckline. the erase button and that's ready to go again uploads and let's put this image on so maybe the image we want it to go here but of course it's overlapping this sleeve here so I'm going to duplicate the page first of all just get rid of that and what I want to do is a screenshot of this section here can't actually do it while I'm recording my screen but I did do it earlier and on a Mac to do a snippet shot I press and release three keys together the shift button the command and the number five and I do believe that on a PC you press and release the three following keys together the Windows logo key the shift button and the letter S I don't use a PC but that's what it said when I googled it That's my screenshot. Now I want to click on it, get the purple box around it. I want to click on edit and I want to go to the magic grab, the yellow box here. Click on that and I want to click on just the sleeve. It doesn't matter that it's taken these in, but I don't want all this. I just want this around here. So click the purple grab button and there I can lift that off the image. Click on that, get rid of it because we don't need it. But now we've just got this sleeve that we can now patch in and make the size to match up. Sit that on top like that. And now we have this image underneath here that 
looks like the sleeves folded on top again if you wanted to make that bigger and you wanted it to go under this sleeve you'd do exactly the same thing you'd duplicate it you'd screenshot this little bit and then upload your screenshot into your canva uploads here like i did again you'd click on it edit and use the yellow magic grab so that's a good tip to use to make it look more realistic again if you go to position and layers you can see all the layers of everything on this canvas there's the screenshot of the arm there's the image of the design and that's the mock-up that we created so that image there it again is ready to download so tell me below what mock-ups are you going to create and underneath this video I'll leave the links to the prompts and the images of the mock-ups that we've created today please like and subscribe to the channel and go watch this video next on how to create standout designs that grab attention and this one on how to turn your designs into digital products fast. I'll see you in the next one.